Hey, guy, what's up? I am so excited to introduce my new product, the Cake Puck Mold. I'll take you through the simple steps to making your own delicious cake pucks. To begin, make sure your cake is completely cooled and start crumbling gently until there are no clumps or hard pieces. Add about a half a cup of frosting and start gently mixing it in without mashing it. You want to distribute your frosting evenly until the cake starts to stick together easily. You can add more or less frosting depending on how moist your cake is. Next, get out your molds and separate the two silicone parts. The larger mold for your melted chocolate has the Benty Cakes logo on the bottom. The smaller mold is for the center or core of your dessert and is labeled Cake Pucks. Next, scoop about a fourth a cup of your cake mixture into each cavity and use a measuring cup or anything with a flat surface to gently press down until your core is level with the mold. But again, don't smash it. You can remove any excess with your scraper. You want to make sure your core is nice and smooth, so fill in any gaps or cracks. Now it's time to place your mold in the fridge until the cores are completely chilled. I forgot to film that step, but trust me, I put them in the fridge. A little cleanup and the next step is melting your chocolate. In this video I'm using Ghirardelli dark and white chocolate melts with a little bit of Crisco for smoothness. I microwave it for one minute, stir, then microwave it in increments of 20 seconds until it's melted. You want it warm, not hot. Prepare your piping bag in a large cup, then stir and pour your chocolate and be sure to use a clip or a tie so your melted chocolate doesn't seep up onto your hand. When they are chilled, remove your cores from the fridge and gently pop them out of the silicone mold. If they are crumbling, it means they are not completely chilled or you need a little more frosting in your cake mixture. Now take the other mold with the Benty Cakes logo, set it on the plastic tray, and get ready to cover your cores with chocolatey goodness. You're going to fill the cavities about halfway full of melted chocolate. Don't stress about this part. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, center your chilled core and gently press down until the chocolate comes up over the sides. Use the plastic tray to tap out any air bubbles, then use your scraper to remove excess chocolate and smooth the top. If you find you don't have quite enough melted chocolate in the cavity, that's no problem. Tap to remove any air bubbles and then add a little more melted chocolate from your bag. Keep tapping and the chocolate will spread to cover your cake puck. It's so satisfying to watch it smooth out. Leave the mold on the plastic tray and set it on the counter or in the fridge until the chocolate is set. Removing the cake pucks is the best part. It is so fun to pop them out. They are smooth and perfect and fun. You can serve them just like this or there are so many ways to decorate them. One of my go-to methods is simply melting some white chocolate and then swiping it back and forth over the top. Stick around for lots more cake puck recipes, tips, and decorating ideas from Benty Cakes. I hope you love your cake pucks as much as we do.